guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought it would be kind of fun to do an updated home tour and we haven't done one of these in like probably eight months at least don't mind the laundry that needs to be folded behind me um, but I was just kind of hanging around the house and I I'm here alone and everything is nice and quiet and I was like this would probably be the perfect time to do a home tour. I can, you know, set the pillows up and not have them on the floor like they are 95% of the time and I just thought it would be a good time to do that. So, um, for those of you guys who don't know, we are expecting a baby in August so I thought it would be kind of nice before we do um, some changes to the house to just kind of like update you guys and have some footage of what the house looks like right now. Um, we're gonna be redoing the nursery, potentially redoing the other guest bedroom, um, and then definitely redoing all the rugs up here on the second floor, because as you can see, we have a couple different colors going on up here, and I just would like to have some fresh new carpet up here um, that's like a neutral color, so we'll be doing that, and I just thought it would be fun to update you guys on what the house looks like right now. So if you guys want to see that, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is our front door, and I actually currently have my dad working on um, some like barn style doors with like big latches, and they're going to be like a dark grayish navy blue color. Um, so I'm really excited to get those put in because I think that will really update the front of the house. Um, but here is our mud room overall and kind of how it looks. So um, I'm just going to kind of give you guys an overview and then I will tell you where everything is from. Those are Kyle's shoes, <laughs> which I don't know why those are piled up there when there are plenty of sluts down there. But anyway. So when you first walk in, we have this rug. Um, we just bought this at Walmart. I think it was like $50. Um, you guys can't really see in the video, but it's actually pretty discolored from like the mud and all of that. But I bleach it like once a month to keep it clean. And then this little stand here is just recently purchased from Christmas Tree Shop. And it was around $149, I think. But I think it's the perfect stand. And I thought it looked so cute with this mirror. Um, I have not decorated the top at all. So I just kind of threw two things up there that we had on the previous stand that we had right there. So if you guys have any suggestions, please send them my way. I definitely plan on putting some flowers maybe on this side and like a candle somewhere or something like that. But then we just had this little cheapy mirror. I think it was like $10 from Walmart on a little crate with um, a Dollar Tree bottle uh, spray painted black and then just some white sticks in there. Here we have an ottoman again from Walmart um, that we got I think like two years ago and it opened so it's great for storage. I put all my sandals and stuff in there during the winter. Um, and then over here we have two um, coat racks which are completely covered. It looks like we're a family of eight. Um, but this is my rack and that is Kyle's rack. So um, we got those racks there from TJ Maxx and then the wreath is also from TJ Maxx. Um, oh, also this is um, kind of my section where my shoes go and that rack I actually got at Goodwill for $8. So I have no idea what it was originally for but um, I obviously turned it into a shoe rack. So then you come through this door and we have our dining room. Ethan boy, there's my little baby. So this is overview of our dining room. Um, so over here I have these mirrors that I got at Target. Um, they came in like a three piece set and I actually plan on spray painting those black. I don't like the gold color that they are so I'm gonna do those like a matte black I think that oh I got from TJ Maxx um, and then I just spray painted the curtain rod a matte black color. It was originally like gold or something but it was like the original one that was in the house. Uh, these chairs are from Target, the table is from a thrift store, and then our chandelier is from Lowe's and I did spray paint it black, it was originally silver. Over here we do have a section in the dining room um, and this grateful sign was actually gifted to me as a wedding gift. Um, it was like my bridal shower gift and along with the table, same thing, it was a gift for my bridal shower. Um, and then this little veil over, veil, <laughs> this vase over here is from Hobby Lobby and the flowers are from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then we just have like a little picture of Braxton in there. Then this kind of leads into our sunroom. Um, so we just have a couple chairs and a couch and a table out there. That whole set right here with the table and the chair the love seat, couch, and the two end tables all came from TJ Maxx, um, and it actually came with those pillows as well. I just threw that um, blanket on there to add some color. That is just out there because that was in our mudroom, and I'm just not sure where I want to put it yet. Um, if we want to put it in the garage or maybe just give it away. 
and my mom actually bought us this table as a gift, so that's just super cute. Okay, moving into the kitchen. Not much has been done to the kitchen, so this is pretty much in its original state when we bought the house. The wallpaper, the cabinets, the refrigerator, pretty much everything is exactly the way it was when we bought the house. Um, so originally I was going to paint all the cabinets, but we've recently just kind of realized, like you guys can see how shiny that is, that nothing, like, no matter how much you prime this or anything, there's just not much that's gonna stick to that and I just don't think it will look very nice. So we're kind of waiting to just redo the kitchen all together. Um, but here we have an island that I just got off like a swap and sell site and then these actually came with the dining room table. So I just pulled the stools over there and then bought new comfy chairs for the dining room table. Then on top we just have this little crate here that I got from TJ's and then everything on top is from Hobby Lobby. And these are actually real baby's breath that are just dried out. Um, I got them in a bouquet as a gift and I just popped them in there and let them dry. Um, and these little hand towels, I'm not sure where they're from. I believe Target. I actually got them from my best friend as a gift. She just randomly left a gift at my door and it was adorable and it just had some fun spring stuff and something for the baby in it. And then over here, we got this as a wedding gift, which is super cute. So we just keep our coffee in there. Coffee maker and then this little stand I love is from Hobby Lobby and we just hang all of our coffee mugs on there. So moving over here is the not so pretty corner of the house, but we have Braxton's little area, so his kennel and his food, and then the bathroom. So I'm currently doing laundry, that's why there's some stuff on top of the washer. Review, that rack is from TJ Maxx. The sign was a gift, and then I just hung little mason jars there with hemp string and filled them with cotton balls and Q-tips. And then over here is the sink and it just has a candle and some soap and hand lotion, our mirror and the light fixture. <laughs> you following me? So moving into the living room, um, this is kind of what it looks like when you first walk into the living room. So to your left you have a little mirror and we have like a little stand of sticks. <laughs> um, those chairs are from Target. I actually bought them for our sweetheart table at our wedding. Um, and then obviously I figured we would use them in the house afterwards as well. Um, our curtains are from Amazon. That wreath is from Target. And those stands are from Burlington. There's one here and then there's one on the other side of the living room. Um, and then over here we just have some doodads and our little built-in, so they're just photos and flowers and things like that. That dog right there actually is the photo that came in that frame. I just bought the frame and I keep forgetting to put a new photo in it. Um, but yeah, anyway, so here is what the rest of the living room looks like right now. A lot of this you guys have probably seen just from our previous updates of the house because not much in here has changed. Um, that picture up there is from Burlington. Our lamps are from Lowe's. And the pillows are from Walmart and Burlington, I believe. I'm not sure. Those were also kind of gifted to us. Yeah, so then over here, obviously everything on these stands are pretty much from TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if you guys can see that popping out over there, but we actually have like a little elliptical over there. So I'll show you guys if you come around this corner. Um, we have a little stand, um, like a metal ball, and some pictures, and a love sign. And then this sign was actually gifted on our wedding day as well, humble and kind. And I just think that's really kind of cute in that corner right before you go up the stairs. But when you come over here, we have a little hidden exercise elliptical. And right there is a photo, a picture that my little brother colored, and I forgot he put it over there. But anyway that is that so it's nice because we can work out right here and watch tv but this is also out of the way we don't use this entrance to the house at all like whatsoever so it's kind of perfect that we can just have this over here moving upstairs as you guys can see that rug is the worst color ever um so we actually just went to lowe's and home depot to get an estimate for a rug i want to do like a really light neutral color something actually pretty similar to that in the whole entire upstairs. So all of that will be ripped out here pretty soon. Um, but if you come upstairs, the first thing you see is this ottoman, and I bought that at Burlington. Um, this little like throw thing, I think it's, I think it's like a rug, but it's kind of a throw at the same time. I just kind of threw it over there, was a gift, and I believe it was from TJ Maxx. 
so yeah I just kind of have that in this little nook here so don't mind over here this is all yard sale stuff I've been going through my clothes and everything trying to get rid of as much as possible before the baby comes um, obviously we have a long ways to go until the baby is here but I figure if I start now I will have a good grip on things when the baby comes so then we just have this little stand from Walmart I believe with a couple little photos and doodads on there and to the right we have some built-in storage here and a walk-in closet and then you come right on into our bedroom so the bed frame we got from Amazon and the bedding is from Overstock yes and Braxton makes his debut <laughs> he literally loves that blanket guys so I bought this blanket here at TJ Maxx and it is like a sweater material and then obviously it has like the little pom-poms at the bottom and it's just the most beautiful blanket. I don't generally spend a lot of money on stuff like that but it was $50 and I literally just completely fell in love with it. But it's become Braxton's blanket. So as you can see there are like poles and holes and dog hair all over it. But he loves that blanket and I just can't... I just can't take it away from him. So anyway, he's getting nervous because I'm filming him, but it's kind of like an overview. Above the bed, we have some mirrors that I got at Burlington um, and a sign there. The two end tables are from Christmas Tree Shop. And then our curtains were from TJ Maxx. And then we have our TV over here with a dresser. Our dressers are from TJ Maxx. And under the bed, you can see Braxton's toys. So he's a toy hoarder and he kind of has all his toys just hanging out right there under the bed. Um, and then over here I have my vanity, so underneath I have a trash can and all my cords, which I still need to figure out how I want to organize those. Um, I need the slack from the cords, so putting them in a box, a lot of people recommended that, which I really liked that idea. Um, but I'd constantly be pulling the slack of the cords out anyway. So I don't really know if there's a solution for that mess under there, but on my vanity I have just a cup of water. I don't know if you guys notice, I also have a cup of water over there in that gold cup. Um, but I'm thirsty all the time right now, so I just have cups of water everywhere. And then I have my makeup brushes, my mirror, my ring light, and all my makeup stuff right there. The rest of my makeup is stored in here, which I like that it's just kind of tucked away. Um, over here we have a little sign that says Love You More. I got that at TJ Maxx. And then I have a bunch of jewelry and like some perfume up there. Kind of need to clean that area up. And then in here I keep like bras and panties and stuff like that. And please guys, look at the rug in here. Like what is going on? I don't know. I'm just so excited to get just a neutral rug. I think the upstairs will look a million times better. So I'm really pumped about that. And so is Braxton. So coming on into the bathroom. So we haven't done a whole ton here, but we've um, at least made it just somewhat presentable. I need to wash that mirror. It's so dirty. Um, we have a light fixture and a mirror and then this sink that my dad gifted to me for my birthday last year, which is really nice. So then over here we just have some bathroom stuff there on top of the toilet and just some wall decorations from TJ Maxx. And then also that is from TJ Maxx, <laughs> my shower curtain along with the little rugs too. So then moving over here, this is our second bedroom. So it's actually a pretty large bedroom. Um, we did not choose this wallpaper and we did not choose the rug either. These were actually in the house originally. All of this is original. So in here I just have like our weights and everything. So it's really nice to just put your laptop right up there and you have all this room to work out. Uh, we have our workout bench, a ball, and a yoga mat. I also blow dry my hair in here randomly enough. Um, I'm not even sure why. And then on this side here we just have, those are all like crafting stuff or like gift wrap, stuff like that and then all of Kyle's military stuff. So his military bag and all his military stuff. We have a TV that my little brother actually needs to grab. And then when you come through this door, lead you back out into the hallway. And then we have our third bedroom, which <laughs> Braxton is so funny. He just keeps popping up in the video, but this is gonna be the nursery. Um, so we're gonna sand these walls and paint them, which um, is pretty much what we did in the mudroom and the dining room, so I think this kind of wood looks really pretty painted. But in here right now we just have a desk, some storage stuff, um, sewing machine, and stuff like that. And then we need to file all that paperwork on top of the filing cabinet. 
This bed, I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it and put it in the other room when we start decorating the nursery, but it's just here for now. It's nice to have for when guests stay over. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited that this will be the nursery. I think it's the tiniest, cutest little room and it'll just be perfect for that. Oh well, yeah guys, that is absolutely it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Um, if you guys have any advice for anything I mentioned in this video or any of the rooms or how to decorate certain stands or anything like that, um, feel free to comment any of your ideas down below. I love getting ideas from you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!